Hey learners, this is Franshi Verma. Welcome to my channel guys. In today's session, we are going to discuss Advanced Communication System, Multiple Choice Question and Answer. And guys, this video we will focus on Radar System, Multiple Choice Question and Answer. Par. Okay? Means Radar System is a specific unit in your syllabus of Advanced Communication System. Okay? Let's begin the session. In this, your first question is if the peak transmitted power in a radar system is increased by a factor of 16, the maximum range will be increased by a factor option A2, option B4, option C8, option D16. Okay, and right answer here is option A2. So, if the peak transmitted power in a radar system is increased, is increased by a factor of 16 the maximum range will be increased by a factor y2 okay next question if the antenna diameter in a radar system is increased by a factor of 4 the maximum range will be increased by a factor of option a under root 2 option b2 option c4 option d8 right answer is option c4 okay if the antenna diameter in a radar system is increased by a factor of 4, the maximum range will be increased by a factor of 4. Next question. If the ratio of the antenna diameter to the web length in a radar system is high, this will result in indicate the false statement. Okay, means you have to indicate karna hai, false statement. Option A, large maximum range. Option B, good target discrimination. Option C, difficult target acquisition. Option D, increased capture area. And right answer here is option D, increased capture area. Okay. So, this is the indication of false statement. Okay. Next question. The radar cross section of a target means indicate the false statement. Option A, depends on the frequency used. Option B, may be reduced by spatial coding of the target. Option C, depends. Depends on the aspects of a target if this non-spherical option D is equal to the actual cross-sectional area for a small targets. Right answer here is option D is equal to the actual cross-sectional area for a small targets. Okay, the radar cross-section of a target me here indicate the false statement. Okay, is equal to the actual cross-section sectional area for a small targets okay next question flat top rectangular pulses must be transmitted in radar to indicate the false statement option a allow a good minimum range option b make the return echoes easier to distinguish from noise option c prevent frequency change in the magnetron option d allow accurate range measurements okay and here False statement is option B. Make the returned echoes easier to distinguish from noise. Okay. So, correct option is also option B. According to flat top, rectangular pulses must be transmitted in radar to make the returned echoes easier to distinguish from noise. Next question. A high PRF will indicate the false statement. Option A. Make the returned echoes easier to distinguish from noise. Option B, make target tracking easier with conical scanning. Option C, increase the maximum range. Option D, have no effect on the range resolution. Right answer is option C, increase the maximum range. Okay, a high PRF will increase the maximum range is, is the false statement. Okay, correct answer also of this question. Next question. The IF bandwidth of a radar receiver is inversely proportional to the option A pulse width, option B pulse repetition frequency, option C pulse interval, option D square root of the peak transmitted power and right answer here is option A pulse width. The IF bandwidth of a radar receiver is inversely proportional to the pulse width. Okay. Next question. If a return echoes arise after the allocated pulse interval, option A, it will interface with the operation of the transmitter. Option B, the receiver might be overloaded. Option C, it will not be received. Option D, the target will appear close than it really is. Right answer here is option D. 
if a return echo arrives after the allocated pulse interval the target will appear close than it really is okay so right answer here is option d next question after a target has been acquired the best scanning system for tracking is option a nodding option b spiral option c conical option d helical right answer is option c conical after a target has been acquired the best scanning system for tracking is conical next question if the target cross section is changing the best system for accurate tracking is option a lob switching option b sequential lobbing option c conical scanning option d monopulse right answer is option d monopulse okay if the target cross section is changing the best system for accurate tracking is monopulse next question the biggest disadvantages of cw doppler radar is that option a it does not give the target velocity option b it does not give the target range option c a transponder is required at the target option d it does not give the target position right answer is option b it does not give the target range okay the biggest disadvantage of cw doppler radar is that it does not give the target range next question the a scope displays option a the target position and range option b the target range but not position option c the target position but not range option d neither range nor position but not only velocity and right answer here is option b the target range but not position okay the a scope displays the target range but not display the position okay next question the doppler effect is used in indicate the fast statement means option a moving target plotting on the ppi option b the mti system option c fm radar option d cw radar right answer here is option a moving target plotting on the ppi okay the doppler effect is used in moving target plotting on the ppi this is false statement here okay and correct option is also a moving target plotting on the ppi because yahan par hame false statement hi choose karna tha okay next question the echo in mti radar operates at the option a intermediate frequency option b transmitted frequency option c received frequency option d pulse repetition frequency right answer is option a intermediate frequency okay the echo in mti radar operates at the intermediate frequency next question the function of the quartz delay line in an mti radar is is to option a help in subtracting a complete scan from the previous scan option b match the phase of the coho and the stello option c match the phase of the coho and the output oscillator option d delay sweep so that the next sweep can be subtracted from it and right answer here is option a help in subtracting a complete scan from the previous scan okay the function of the quartz delay line in an mti radar is to help in subtracting a complete scan from the previous scan next caption a solution to the blind speed problem is option a to change the doppler frequency option b to bury the prf option c to use monopulse option d to use mti right answer is option b to bury the prf okay a solution to the blind speed problem is to bury the prf next question indicate which one of the following application or advantages of radar becomes as false option a target identification option b navigation option c very significant extension of the maximum range option d more accurate tracking of enemy targets right answer here is option d more accurate tracking of enemy targets next question compared with other types of radar phased array radar has the following advantages indicate the false statement option a very fast scanning option b ability to track and scan simultaneously option c circuit is simplicity option d ability to track many targets simultaneously right answer is option c circuit simply city okay 
so compared with other types of radar phase array radar has the following advantages and yahan par aapko false statement choose karna hai and this is circuit simply city okay option c okay guys now let's wind up the lecture see you in the next video i hope aaj ka video aapke liye helpful rahega thanks for watching this video make sure to subscribe to my channel for more updates and please share this video with your friends thank you